And now, local sports with Dustin Nolan. The Iowa Hawkeyes are preparing for a big matchup against the North Carolina Tar Heels on the hardwood tomorrow night. The ACC Big Ten Challenge game features two of the country's top 15 teams, and the third-ranked Hawkeyes kept bringing up one word to describe the chance to prove themselves on a national stage. We're very excited about the opportunity to play against you know, the number 14 team in the country in North Carolina. So everybody's really excited um, and we're pumped up. We know this is an opportunity for us, um, you know, to show some people, you know, what we're about. You know, I'm excited. Uh, I feel like our whole team is excited. Uh, we, you know, we prepare for this and uh, we're preparing today for it. I think we're ready for it and uh, we're just ready to uh, step up to the challenge and live up to the hype. Uh, I'm extremely excited. Um, you know, like Coach says, um, you sign up to play these kind of games and you sign up to play these kind of players. Uh, so I'm extremely excited to play against some elite guards and uh, just get after it on both ends of the floor. The Iowa Hawkeyes have been known as a tough, smart, physical football team. That's been the case this season as the defense has been playing lights out during the Hawkeyes' five-game winning streak, only allowing 15 points per game. As Hawkeye quarter reporter Corey Rolden has our report. The Iowa Hawkeyes defense continued their dominant play against Illinois for the 21st straight game. The Hawkeyes defense has not allowed more than 25 points. That's the longest streak in the nation. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, going back 22 years ago, that was one of our priorities um, was to be a good defensive team. I, I just, uh, I was raised, uh, my dad's a baseball guy. And um, yeah, I think any team sport, you know, if, if you pay attention, if you can play defense, at least you have a chance to be competitive and, and competitive consistently. So, you know, from, from day one, we wanted to build a good defense here. Yeah. Um, we really didn't have any adjustments, you know. We just, we just came together as a team and told ourselves that, you know, it's, it's up to us to, to make a stand and to make a difference in this game. And that's what we decided to do. You know, we can either fold or we can fight, and we're going to constantly continue to fight. A big reason for the Hawkeyes' success this season has been the play of defensive tackle Davion Nixon. The Big Ten leader in sacks and tackles for losses has not only played well on the field, but has become a vocal leader for the Hawkeyes' defense. Yo, come on now. He's 305 and he's moving like that. Like, you don't, that's not just something that you see. So, like, <laughs> you see, we all seen that, that interception. Like, how many, how many times have you seen a 300 pounder take a 72 yards? Like, <laughs> I, it's not really much that I have to say. Like he's been putting out good film, and uh, he's really letting the film speak for itself. That you know, you can't do everything on your own. Um, coming off that Michigan State game, you know, I had a lot of people texting me and calling me saying that was a great team win. It was great team defense, you know, and it felt good because you know, as much as I want to go out there and try to make every play on the field, I can. You know, I got to be able to do my assignment to let other people make plays as well. You know, you got to kind of share the wealth and share the love. And uh, I guess that's one of my, out of these seven games, that's one of the biggest things that I learned is that I can't do it all by myself. Even when the team was down, the Hawkeyes defense still showed a lot of emotion and energy. During the second half, the Hawkeyes defense only gave up seven points. From Champaign, I'm Corey Rolden, Local 4 Sports. All right, thank you, Corey. Big day on Comanche as Dylan Darsadin signs to continue his track and cross-country career at the University of Northern Iowa. Darsadin is one of the best runners ever to put on a Comanche uniform. He placed at state the last three years, and he actually won it his junior year. Now he's looking forward to the next chapter of his life. So let's hear from Dylan Darsadin on him signing with UNI. Yeah, it was absolutely a dream come, come true. Like, since my freshman year, that was always the goal, was to just run in college. And then, you know, there's also that extra goal to be able to run at the Division One level. And I think Northern Iowa is a great fit for me, and I'm really excited. It, I mean, it just always felt like it was the right the right choice for me. You know, I, I think the school, it's a great school, you know, a lot of great programs. And also, just being able to compete at Division One level is great, but, you know, that's not even it. I just really enjoy, you know, a lot of the team, the, the guys on the team and the coaches were really nice and supportive and have always been there and you know I'm just grateful that they even gave me the opportunity to to run for them. All right, for anyone that didn't get to see the game today, Washington versus Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger to Deontay Johnson, who makes a three-yard touchdown catch. Steelers lead 7-0. Later in the second, same score. It's going to be Roethlisberger. He's going to pass to James Washington, who's going to break a couple tackles here, and he's going to take it to the house 50 yards for the touchdown. Steelers lead 14-0. 
Fourth quarter, Washington down 17 to 10. Alex Smith going to work now, and he's going to find a wide open Logan Thomas for a 15 yard touchdown. Game tied at 17. 207 left in the fourth quarter, tied at 17. Dustin Hopkins comes on for a 45 yard field goal attempt, and it is up and it is good, and that makes it 20 to 17 as Washington goes on to win this one 23 to 17. Pittsburgh suffers their first loss of the season. And still ahead, an encore of Go For It. Sports Director Jake Kidwell gets hit in the head with a stick. You won't want to miss it. That's next. You're watching Local 4 News at 10.